From Roman glass that we can use to enhance the lenses with which we explore space, to Egyptian dyes that are used for medical scans. This week we talk about some ancient technologies that have helped us progress through the years and into the future. This is Future 5. Number 1. The Lysurgus Cup is a 4th century Roman glass cup. This cup raised a lot of questions to modern science when it was first discovered. The cup changes color completely, depending on its contents and where it's being lit from. Using what we consider micro-technology, the Romans used gold and silver flecks 1000 times thinner than a human hair. This was concluded after studying the glass with an electron microscope, as these nanoparticles are so small that they can't even be seen with a regular microscope. Furthermore, the quantities of gold and silver used are so small that some scientists wonder whether the dichroic glass wasn't made by accident. Not only did the Romans have to discover a way to grind gold so finely, but they also had to fuse it to the glass in specific proportions in order to produce the dichroic illusion that you see in the finished project. This technology is currently being used to develop longer lasting lenses for space exploration that are less affected by the sun's harmful rays. Number 2. Roman Concrete No matter what you think of the Romans, they were amazing builders. To this day no one would dare to recreate many of the designs found in Roman architecture. Many wonder at the strength and endurance of for instance the cement used in some of the Roman buildings, which has held up for nearly 2000 years. Some think there might have been blood in the mix, though this cannot be said for certain. Recently scientists used a recipe for concrete they had found written down by Roman architect Vitruvius. The process of mixing and curing took longer than what we're used to, but after 6 months they were able to test it. Looking under a microscope you could see clusters of dense minerals or crystals binding the concrete together, preventing hairline cracks from forming naturally. When tested it proved to be stronger, last longer, use less material and emit less carbon into the air than modern concrete. Number 3. The Hero Engine Though not as futuristic as some of the other technologies we talk about, this ancient engine is still fascinating. Called the Hero Engine, it was made by an inventor, scientist and engineer who lived in Alexandria under the same name. Hero was renowned for many of his inventions, including some of the first working analog robots. The Hero Engine was a water-filled sphere with opposing bent tubes. When you lit the heating disc, pressure would build from steam shooting from the tubes, creating thrust. This, as far as we're aware, is the first use of a steam engine, although the invention ended up being more of a proof of concept than an actual tool, it still proved how much more our ancestors knew than we give them credit for. Number 4. The Baghdad Battery The Baghdad Battery is an ancient artifact of which the purpose is still subject to controversy. Supposedly first found in Iraq in the 1930s, the battery is made up out of a clay jar within it copper tubes wrapped around an iron rod. The jar was sealed with asphalt and on the bottom acidic residue was found. However, the jars found show many differences among themselves and the number of recovered jars is uncertain as well. Its first discoverer, a German by the name of Wilhelm Koenig, hypothesized that it was a galvanic cell, perhaps used for electroplating process through which small amounts of a precious metal are adhered to the outside of metal objects using an electric current. This would have been at least a thousand years before Alessandro Volta made the first voltaic pile. An incredible find. Finding small fragments of papyrus in the inner tube and the uncovery of other artifacts similar to the Baghdad battery has led to the belief that the battery isn't a battery at all but a storage cylinder for sacred scrolls, even though the acidic residue does not fit in with that theory either. However, even if it was only by mistake, the Baghdad batteries do produce a small current, making them the oldest batteries we know of. And aren't you glad you can have power stored in a little tube you can take anywhere to power your electronics with? Batteries Number 5. 
ancient x-ray dye. This one has been used for a while, but scientists never really gave credit to the ancient Egyptians for their discovery. As you know, dyes have been around for hundreds of thousands of years, and the Egyptians were some of the first to really master the mixing of dyes and metals. One of the first dyes they created is known as Egyptian blue. It's used on nearly everything they painted. The recipe had been lost some time after the Greco-Roman period, but is now recovered by science, after they witnessed the special properties the dye possesses. The mixture, properly known as calcium copper silicate, emits infrared rays when lit with visible light. Currently, the dye has been used for enhancing imaging on different medical scans. By introducing the dye into someone's blood, doctors are able to light up pathways in the body to get much better results when looking for certain abnormalities. Those were some ancient technologies that were pretty futuristic. Let us know if you enjoyed the video by liking and commenting. Have a good day and subscribe if you want to see more Future 5.